Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, I'm Chuck, and uh, this is a follow-up on uh, the uh, air reel video. Um, it's finished, and uh, I was, uh, I guess, smart enough to test my fitting before I put the uh, complete hose reel back together. And uh, that's what this video is about. It'll show you um, uh, the water test that I did, air pressure water tests that, that failed and, and the fixes. Uh, to make it work. Uh, I'm glad that I did do the test and didn't go ahead and hang the reel. It would have been uh, a lot of labor for not. Um, the other interesting part about this uh, uh, video is uh, using a machinable collet, uh, sometimes called emergency collets, uh, to uh, make a washer um, um, out of a copper washer, making a very small part out of it and uh, mounting it in the uh, machinable collet. So I think you might enjoy that. I'm going to have to apologize. The, I didn't catch it, but the, the uh, camera did not focus when it was on the lathe. So um, it's, uh, I'm really mad that it, uh, it, it would have been a nice video there. But bear with it. Um, I, I think I tried to speed it up a little bit to get through it. Um, the part did, uh, and, this, and this is all, I've watched the video and, and I wanted just to give you a, an intro to it. Um, I decided when I was cutting that piece in the uh, collet, I was more boring, turning it from the inside than boring it. And when I got down to a small um, uh, tolerance on the outside, it actually bit on the washer. So then I managed to straighten it and finish it up and uh, do it in a boring fashion. Um, so anyway, I uh, hope you enjoy the, uh, the video. Um, air reels back up and working uh, well almost you'll see at the end why I'm saying almost uh, other than that uh, next part I got coming up a uh, little video player uh, for my son uh, they lost the door to it we happen to have another one of these so I've got at least a model uh, to uh, build a uh, or a template to uh, build the part so I'll be working on that it'll be some fun uh, some fun work at the uh, mill all right. Thanks, guys. Uh, enjoy the video, and again, uh, apologize for the uh, the poor focus. Uh, I'm gonna get that cameraman fired. Take care. Well, I've got the fitting put back together. Here's the swivel, and uh, I thought I would do an air test on it first before I went and put the whole reel back together. So, and uh, what I found out, as you'll see here. is it's leaking but the good news is it's not leaking from the actual air fitting it's leaking between this brass uh, brass fitting and the body itself um, so I took it apart and cleaned it up a couple of times and it's uh, not repaired so I think I'm gonna have to build a, uh, a washer for in here uh, to get this part to seal um, so what I've been looking at doing here is I've got a uh, copper washer that's the right, correct uh, OD that'll work, but the ID is incorrect. So uh, I think we'll be using one of these uh, uh, rescue kind of collets, um, and uh, I'll show that. We'll turn this uh, OD ID to the correct uh, correct measurement and then uh, put it back together and see if that uh, solves my leak issue. Okay, be back with you. <clears throat> thought I'd do a little follow-up on this. Uh, it's called an emergency collet or a machinable collet or a stepped collet. You can see that it's got a uh, machinable piece up here where you can create uh, your either your uh, deeper recess or a larger diameter recess. This one just happens to fit and this one has got a removable top so it comes off of the body. Um, I do have some other ones that are larger um, and luck of the draw uh, this one was close and I was gonna have to machine it but this one uh, I think is gonna work so I'll check it up and, and uh, we'll move on. But you can see how far this one's been 
machined back in. Okay, well I took the part over to the mill vise, just straightened it, got a little bit of a wow in it, but it's back normal. So I'm just going back in and cleaning up on it. measurement on it. Another 21 thousandths to go. Probably the way I should have attacked the part, boring it rather than trying to turn it, hence why it caught. quick shot to show you the the fit is good um, I don't know if it's maybe too thick for compression um, but I'm going to try it at this thickness and put it back together and we'll see what happens be back with you okay here's a follow-up airs on and uh, got it sealed up take and uh, turn the fitting And the fittings hold in, and my copper washer sealed the uh, sealed the two together. All right, put the hose reel back together now. Well, the air reel is uh, back and reinstalled. 
but when I put the air to it, it blew a hose. Not bad for what? Let's see, I'm 60 and the dealership was there before me. So maybe about a 70, 70 year old hose uh, finally gave up the ghost. Um, so I have to get a new hose built for it. But otherwise, uh, the reel's back in place and uh, ready to be using, ready to be used again. Anyway, that's the close of this, this episode of the air reel repair.